everything the professor does has to do with timing and as he had asked Rachel Stacks who was in the plane with the pilots to count down to 90 seconds and when the timing is right she should lower the plane for him to catch. The shooting between the professor and the insurgents was fierce. The only way he could acquire the information he needed from the scroll of the hidden prophecy is to fight his way through the men and memorize every hieroglyphs in which he was doing as he was shooting his way through them. The professor ran to get more glance of the hieroglyphs in the inner chambers of the temple. It was a bit difficult for him to evade the insurgents for he needed to memorize every data needed to stop the secret society. Unfortunately, he was hit on the upper left chest which hurt him badly. And when he knew he was in danger for he had no idea what to do next, he tapped into his subconsciousness for help who is busy on how to deflect the coming asteroid. Without hesitation, he swatted through the insurgents by taking them off their feet and ran upstairs, got hit again, took the man down, told the pilot to tilt the plane lower at 45 degrees and then he jumped and catch the plane in the nick of time. And before you know, the Americans launched an airstrike on the temple. The professor was rushed to the hospital for he was hit badly and he was losing a lot of blood. Just to show that just because he's a super genius doesn't make him superhuman. He arrogantly tried to operate on himself because of the lack of trust for the surgeon on duty but was too weak to stay conscious and he passed out. While he was under the knife, his mind was going through a revolving transformation. His operation was successful and he thanked the surgeon whom he had earlier undermined for saving his life, whom in return told him to make sure he gets more rest. Two hours later, Richard Stax came to check on the professor in the hospital but she realized that he wasn't in his room then she asked the staff of the hospital where he was and they told her that the professor had bought the hospital and that he was upstairs and when she found the professor she saw him writing on the walls of a room he had asked the staff to empty and this was all the information he memorized in the temple of Bell and he finally deciphered the information about the secret society called the Brotherhood of the Dragon who are a bloodline in existence for thousands of years. This bloodline comes from the parallel earth but they were ravagers who love to cause chaos and destruction anywhere they go. Now the king of this bloodline from the parallel earth is making his arrival to this earth to do exactly the same thing he did to the parallel earth with the help of the brotherhood and without the bridge he can't cross over. Apparently the king had sent his son to construct the bridge pathway so when the son crossed over from the parallel earth his spacecraft had a freak time continuum accident and was sent back in time to ancient Babylonian era where he had nothing to work with to create a bridge pathway because he had little resources and moreover didn't have the means to communicate with his father so he was stuck in this earth at that time so he built the tower of babel as a bridge pathway but was unable to activate the doorway then he passed the blueprint down history through the bloodline whom are the ones controlling the world today. The bad news is that the bridge had been built and very soon it will be activated and that they have to reveal this information to the public. Before the professor could know what was happening, Rachel Stacks shot him with a tranquilizer which made him weak and he fell to the floor and he could see that Rachel Stacks was working for the brotherhood of the dragon and the king is waiting on arrival with his cruise ship to this planet Earth.